Welcome to the PSL Girls 2A Championship, where we have the number two construction Red Hawks taking on the number one Medgar Evers Lady Cougars. Construction coming in at 21 and 5 on the year, 13 and 0 in conference, and and Medgar Evers at 22 and 6 on the year, 14 and 0 in conference. This is the voice of Sage Media, Greg Polis, and I'm here with my partner Shaq Mitchell. Let's get it going, Shaq. Let's get it going, man. 2A, we handle 1A. Let's get down to 2A. As number 11, Jasmine Salamanca controlling the ball for the Red Hawks. Medgar Evan Lady Cougars has come out in that zone. So just to go over the starting five right now on the floor for construction, you have that's Layla Portugal inbound to the ball, number zero. 11, Jasmine Salamanca to number 21. Yasmin El Sharari, number 13, Dominic Charles. At number one, the freshman standout, Jordan Elijah. Gets him to the corner. El Sharari back at top. Off the back iron, Salamanca gets the rebound. Medgar side. And Mega Evers Cougars have kind of got to take their time on these possessions right here. A lot of opportunities right there. Couldn't hit. Wow. That was a good block right there by Dominic Charles. So, Medgar countering on their starting five with number five, Michaela Sanders. Number two, Takara Miller. What a season Takira Miller's having, right? 21.7 assists a game, four rebounds, just doing it all for a team. Definitely. The pass, number four, Kelis Williams. And rounding out the start of five, number 22, Jayla Gonzalez. And number 14, Maya Aiken. That's Aiken on the wing. Getting down over Gonzalez in the corner. Boom! Michaela Sanders for three. Nine threes on the season, right? Getting right and comfortable at, and making herself at home at this LIU spot. Corner pocket. Book it. Charles in the corner. Stolen by Aiken. Good anticipation by Aiken. Just being in the passing lane, being able to read the next pass. Aiken from deep. Boom! That's how we used to fix the net, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> As the Lady Cougars come out firing from deep. Big shot right there. Portugal gets in the front court. Maya Aiken. Can't finish the layup. Might be a little bit of a frustration. Well, there's takedown. a couple shooters on the floor for Mega Average. You know, Maya Aiken right there, knocking down her, her three. Uh, see who's subbing in right now. That's Gabriela Martinez. She's going to check in Yasmin El Sharari. Lady Cougars out to a quick six point lead. Two threes have just fell. And Miller's going to get called for the double dribble. Fun fact about the Lady Cougars coaching staff, coached by twins. I went looking for Coach Heath, and he said, "Which one?" Wow! <laughs> I was like, I didn't. I was like, I didn't know there was more than one. That's crazy. But they're twins, so interesting. To Charles in the high post in the corner. Boom! As Martinez answers back, subbing in fresh off the bench and hitting the three. Gabriela Martinez right open there. with a two-three zone. Nice three-point point shot from the junior. Too much traffic right there as Miller turns it over. Got lucky on that pass. Portugal. 
Drives in the paint with the runner, but she's fouled. Lila Portugal in attack mode. She's going to earn herself a pair. I'll, I'll tell you something, Shaq. I walked down to talk to coaches pregame, and there is nothing but a sea of red in the crowd. <laughs> I, oh, man. Red Hawks, strong. You know, that they, they need to, like I said, I told you the importance of, you know, having your home crowd follow you where you go. The support is, 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 is impactful in the game, in the atmosphere. Absolutely. As Portugal sinks two at the line. Gets the screen from Sanders. Goes up and under. Pretty move right there from Elise Williams. To Kira Miller right there. Straight to the basket. Uh, yeah, I said Williams. My bad. You got it. Right. Yeah, Thank got you for correcting me. You're good, man. That's the top player for Mega Evers, and they're at their best when she's doing stuff like that. Dallas has to be careful with that moving screen. Aiken thought about it. Drives, stops, and pops. Good shot right there from Aiken. Aiken getting real comfortable early. First shot was a three-pointer right there, stepping in a little bit more. And it's stolen by Williams. Well, miscommunication between Salamanca and Portugal right there. In the corner, drives, sent away by Elijah. Jordan Elijah said not in here. In a swat. And we have a ref's timeout. It looks like they warned. Coach, Coach. just had a warning. Yeah. Maybe okay, he's too I'm far just, down the court. Who knows? He may have said something. Who knows? It's playoffs right now. Good hands right there by Elijah on the inbound. Refs confer. And stays the same way. Gets to Sanders. And she travels. Metcalf has a pretty balanced scoring attack. Yeah, they do. Metcalf's four yeah. players averaging in double figures. Man. We love when the, when, the, when the production can be evenly spread around. That was a great move by the standout freshman, who's also the leading scorer for the Red Hawks. Jordan Elijah, not afraid of the moment. Having the 17 on the season. Good screen right there by Gonzalez. And Miller gets the rebound, and she's going to get hooked. Absolutely. I'll, I'll tell you this. So you can't really tell from up here, but there's some trees on the court down, down there. <laughs> yeah, Jordan Elijah looks pretty tall down there as well, as well as um, Kelly's Williams for Meg Evers. Miller with the pump fake. Drop. And Gonzalez kind of throwing it up. Out to Elijah in the front court. Both teams kind of trying to find themselves in the paint. Jump ball. It's going to be Red Hawk, Red Hawk ball. And wait for the Red. Good job by the Red Hawks to respond. You know, they're still not all the way back, but 6 0. Now they're only down three points. Side out, Red Hawks. Always want to thank those viewers for tuning in to the live streams. For uh, the live, just to let you know, the live stream is brought to you by Sage Media Solutions. For any live sporting events uh, you want broadcasted, feel free to reach out to at Sage Media Solutions on all social media platforms. Coach Jason of construction want to talk it over early. Yeah. You know, 
you kind of want to get them settled, you know, they got out to a hot start. I to make sure everybody's clicking and, and on the same page. Definitely. It is ironic that both one seeds we call today are wearing gold. <laughs> <laughs> Aiken picks up the dribble, gets it to Miller. Gonzalez to the corner. Was she called for steps? Yes, traveling right there. Jasmine bringing up the ball. Gets it to Layla. Downloaded the pass right there. Great look right there what a from look, Portugal. What a look right there from Portugal. Finding Eliza cutting back door. Went and play basketball right there for the White Hawks. Miller guarded by both guards at the top of the key. The Red Hawks got Looking that for opening. Zone. Boom! The bank is open. And Kayla Sanders knocking one down from three, kisses it off the glass. She is the team's leading three-point shooter. Oh, and Miller saw that pass coming a mile away. And finishes at the other end. Great bucket from Miller. Knows exactly what to do with in transition. Kruger starting to build the lead. Jasmine Good in the corner. Salamanca. Good box out right there by Miller. Who said point guards can't box out? Right. <laughs> that time Miller right there getting down low, doing the, doing the big man job. Looking for the screen from Williams. Goes the opposite way. Aiken for three in the corner. Short. Rebound. Poked away by Charles. Red Hawks are gonna have to be have to limit these Lady Cougars to just one shot attempt. Too many offensive opportunities right now early. Williams gonna go to the line. Shooting two. Went up strong with it. Yeah. Not a lot of young talent on this, this Medgar team. Yeah, a lot of freshmen, a lot of underclass. Williams, a sophomore, averaging a double-double at 16 and 10. Yep. Since the first. What do you think Construction needs to do to let to get this game back within reach? Uh, the incorporation of Jordan Elijah. I feel like every time they've gone to her, She's been able to score, do something positive towards the offense. They're definitely going to have to get their star player, their role player involved, and a little bit more from Layla Portugal as well. Charles drives, kicks it in the corner. Boom! As Martinez sinks another triple. Martinez feeling it out here. His second triple of the quarter. Miller, as she gets bumped like the Matrix. Yeah, rest. And that's number 55, Alicia Belazir. Belazir coming in. As construction looks to counter some of that height of Medgar. Yeah, Belazir trying to be a body on in, inside. See how, see how that changes their deep, their offense. That was a beautifully run play on the inbound. And Miller had an option inside and on the wing. Yeah, Gonzalez with the hook. Touch shot Down right over Belazir. Belazir. Didn't have the great spacing, but it doesn't matter because Portugal is there to clean it up. Portugal. Gets the screen. Great pass, but even better defense by Portugal. 
essentially shadowing the offensive player into the paint. Yeah, she's doing a lot, a lot of work early right now. On the offensive, on offensive end, she's being a catalyst right there, scoring. But she's remained her, kept her intensity on defense. Good hands right there by Salamanca. The rotation from Salamanca. When you're in a zone, you know, rotations are pivotal, you know. So you want to make sure that you're first to the spot. You're, even being a half second late can cause problems. As they were late right there. And Gonzalez is going to go back to the line. I mean, what you're saying is so important because ro late rotations lead to foul trouble. Absolutely. Late rotations lead to easy buckets for the opposition. It's so important that, you, that you're out there and you're, you're quick to, with these rotations. You're getting out to shooters. You're stopping players from not being able to just rip through. That's num number 30, Pusha Balagan checking in for the first time. Gonzalez can't connect on the first. Misses both as Elijah gets the rebound. Got to be able to capitalize when you get there, Greg. Absolutely. Oh. Aaron pass from Portugal, unforced turnover. Yeah, pass was behind Elijah right there. Red Hawk says to just got to take a deep breath. He's not out of this game at all. Senior controlling. Good. Good deflection right there. Nice activity in the zone right now. It's going to be the recipe to get the Red Hawks back and back to lead. Miller turns. Gets in the paint. Great dime right there to Gonzalez, but she can't finish. After one quarter of play, Lady Cougars up 18 to 14 on the Red Hawks from construction. Elijah shaking up on that play. So after we spoke, the Red Hooks immediately hit a three. They're by all means still very much in this game. How do you think they put a stop to Takara Miller? Uh, well, Takara Miller, it's hard to stop. You can hope to contain. You know, when you when you affect the game on multiple facets, you hope to contain. So, you know, you limit her to one thing. Make her she can become she can be a catalyst for the offense. You don't let her get a whole bunch of points. You know, you don't let her impact the game or be a rebounder. You know, you, you allow her to impact the game one way when a player impacts it, when a player is used to impacting the game multiple ways. So I think that's the, the answer for, for, for uh, Takira Miller, as well as, you know, Michaela Sanders and, and Aiken. They have to get out to those, those players. They're suitors. They're, they're open and willing to shoot. But they're knocking down the shot early on. So you want to make sure that you're on these shooters. And, you know, the game will open up for you. The game will change for you. You play defense, it will transition into offense. Definitely. I, I do kind of want to see some, like, one-two action from the Red Hawks with Portugal and Elijah. Right. A little screen and roll action. <laughs> yeah, I think that could definitely be, you know, in their favor if they run that to Salamanca to, to Elijah. That type of pick and roll can, 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 can cause problems for Meg Evans. Portugal on the wing, cross court. Back to Salamanca at the top of the key. Head the corner, great hands right there by Williams. Great hands right there. Aiken out in the front court, no numbers, but she's going. She went that should have been an offensive foul. Absolutely. Look like Derrick Henry. But that goes back to uh, what I was talking about, uh, jump stop. Absolutely. Salamanca, shake it. Took a shot. Hope she's all right. Good hands right there. 
Portugal playing a passing lane. And she's able to finish through contact. Portugal has been special on defense. Right there, reading the play, knowing exactly what to do with it on the break. Uh, now, construction in a 1-3-1. -one. Switch it up on them just like that. Gonzalez flashes to the high post. Good denial by Charles Aiken. Can't hit the jump shot. That's going to be a jump ball. Ball's going to stay here. Timeout, Medgar. Coach Heath's not liking what to see. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if he doesn't like it, but, you know, he wants to probably make sure that they're prepped for this point. He might feel this part of the game is, is, is really important. I could get another bucket right here. Probably tie the game, so he wants to kind of. I would like to see uh, Miller and Williams. So, so how Gonzalez flashed at a high post. I wonder what it would look like if you see Williams flash at a high post, and then you have Gonzalez go running baseline to get underneath. Yeah, a little high low play, baby. Absolutely. Gets it out to Aiken from deep. Loose ball. And the freshman coming up with the loose ball and the putback. And that's a big part of why Mega Evans has a huge lead. Michaela Sanders right there. She gets another steal in the court. And swatted away by Portugal. I was just going to say Michaela Sanders is really showing her defensive presence right there, but... What a swap by Portugal right there. Portugal, defensive stalwart early on in his first half. Absolutely. Couple steals and right there a block. Miller thought about it. Gets it back to Aiken for three. Quick trigger. And Portugal gets the rebound. And she's pushing the pace out of front court. One-on-one -on -one with Miller. She can't finish. Gonzalez gets on the floor with it. On that fast break where Portugal got that block, um, Sanders had a trailer. Yeah, she did. She could, could have jump stop, a little drop pass. Absolutely. You know, she get tunnel vision sometimes. You go for the – try to finish the highlight, but two points is two points, and a diss to your teammate is another nice highlight as well. Good job by Medgar rotating that zone to the corner. Martinez. To Charles at the top of the key. Guarded by Miller. Salamanca picks it up. And tough foul right there by Gonzalez. Got to give her space to catch the ball. Yeah. Salamanca gets it. To Elijah, cross court to Portugal. She can't hit. Charles comes away with the rebound and she's fouled. Went up strong with that. Man, right there, they're trying to figure out right there, but way to. Dominique Charles, way to just, you know, be in the right position for an offensive rebound. Extra opportunities are so pivotal for your team. Can't hit the first. Gonzalez comes away with the loose ball, gets it to Miller. Miller out of front court to Aiken in the corner. Gonzalez gets the loose ball and throws it up. A lot of hands just flailing around down there. The Red Hawks have got to box out defensively. The Lady Cougars have had four of the five opportunities to score multiple different occasions on the offensive possessions.
Gonzalez almost loses it. Kicks it to Miller in the corner. Thought about it. Comes up. Can't hit. Edwards gets the rebound. Back to Miller. And she's fouled. Did you think there were steps there? Uh, was there steps? No. I think I don't. also don't think she was fouled. I think that's a play on as well. There's a couple. It, it's, it's looking a little, little, little shaky down there. Down low. <laughs> Yeah, she definitely got to 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 buy the rim in a blur though. She she definitely is a very downhill player. She That's Michaela that Vanzi checking in for the first time for Jayla Gonzalez. One thing about this Medgar team, they only have one senior in Miller. Yeah. They're a very young team. You know, a few sophomores, a few freshmen. Michaela Sanders. Martinez firing but can't hit. Charles with the offensive rebound. Portugal, short. Miller gets the rebound. Pushing the pace. I'll say this. Portugal is fast. Portugal is fast. She definitely ch chased down Miller right there. Made her, made her make a tough or take a tough layup. And she's going to the line for two free throws. Gonzalez comes back in after the quick breather. Miller not letting the crowd noise affect her. Not at all. The best players don't. They can lock in. They can go to another place. They focus on something else. They never waver as Miller hits the second. Good job. Good move right there by Dominique Charles. She couldn't get the quite finished, but I like that press break from construction. That's something to watch for as we get later on in this game. Cougars up eight with five minutes to go in the first half. Aiken does not let me rephrase. <laughs> but she hasn't seen a shot she doesn't like to take. Absolutely. She's shooting and she's, listen, one of these are going to drop for her. Shoot or shoot. So I'm not mad at it. At all. Rims in and out. It's going to stay the same way. Quick trigger from Michaela Sanders. She didn't hit that one, but you can see why she knocks down so many because she has that quick trigger. You can get yep. that shot off. Miller to inbound. Gets the Gonzalez swatted away by Charles. What a block right there by Charles. Elijah back to Portugal. Martinez in the corner. Zone is safe right there by Salamanca. Good hand. Cross court to Portugal. That's going to be an offensive foul. Great defense right there on that entire possession by the Lady Cougars. Offensive foul on Portugal. That is rough. She is going to be, have, have a seat. I believe that's her third. Huge loss for the Red Hawks right now as they're struggling to find answers right now. Boom! As Miller comes back with the three. Kyra Miller. Stay the same way. Going off the screen right there. Miller has definitely gotten comfortable in his first half and has set a tone for the Megavis College. Lady Cougars. That's the key right there. You said set a tone. 
as number three went to Kavanaugh and for the Red Hawks. Good hands once again as Megan comes up with another steal. Aiken can't finish. Miller gets the rebound and she's fouled. Miller coming down with the rebound. It's a testament to the Red Hawks just not boxing out after that first shot attempt is going up. Their point guard, averaging, she is averaging four. You know, so she gets in there here and there. But there's got to be a body on every yellow, every gold jersey. Definitely. And two things with that play, right? I think Aiken needs to give herself a better angle at the basket. Yes. Smart. And Miller probably needed to give it up a little sooner. Right, right, exactly. Sometimes sometimes floor spacing or where you're at on the floor can help. Absolutely. You know, looks like uh, Portugal's going to come back in. Because Lady Cougars with a 12-point lead with just about three and a half to go. Got that press on. Medgar Evers is in that press. Martinez picks up a dribble. Hounded by Edwards. She almost got a five seconds right uh, there. That's a bailout foul on Gonzalez, in my personal opinion. <laughs> but we're not here for my opinion, just my comments, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Cougars, Lady Cougars have stretched their lead to 12. Red Hawks have got to respond. In the corner to Charles. Good trap right there by the Lady Cougars. Somehow, Portugal gets out of it. In the corner to Martinez for three. Short. Elijah with the rebound. Inside to Charles. Back to Elijah. Drives. Good move, but can't quite get the roll. Elijah couldn't get right hit. She's been quiet this second quarter. Red Hawks really need her to wake up and start producing. A lot of weight on the freshman right now. Both these teams, honestly, used to just blowing other teams out, blowing yeah. their opponents out. Right. So, being, being down double digits is new territory. You have the Red Hawks, who had five games this season where they gave up 20 points or less to the opposition. Man. And in, in 32 minutes of play. Right. That is terrific defense, terrific discipline. And it's thrown away. And as we speak about defense right there, the Lady Cougars... Even better at six games, giving up 20 points or less, and four of those six games, 10 points or less. 10 points in a high school game is 10 bananas. points, yes. <laughs> yeah, 10. You've got to go back to the drawing board. I think see. last game, Zangari and, and Freeman had 10 points each in, in one quarter. Right, exactly. Aiken off the mark. What are they going to get with that foul? That's the third foul on the sophomore, Khalees Williams. Integral part of this offense, like we stated earlier, averaging a double-double. Yeah, she's going to have a seat right now. They're going to preserve her for the next half. As Michaela Vanzi, too strong right there. Miller somehow keeps a dribble, and Coach Heath is able to call a timeout. Impressive work <laughs> by Miller keeping her dribble. Yes. Miller is just a baller. She's ready to – she's always ready to get on the floor, scrappy. You know, that's big. We need to play – your leader needs to be a little – have a little edge to them, you know. And that's what I think Miller is for Med Gavis College. Definitely. That's senior leadership right there, though. Right. 
both both these teams relatively long, young if you think about it. Uh, Charles, the only senior starter wow. for the Red Hawks. Twelve point game here, Greg. You know, if you're the Red Hawks, you want to get this lead under ten. You want to go into that halftime lead, you know, at least with a single digit deficit. It's much more easier. It, it's what do we it always, does something to your confidence. What do we always say, Shaq? The magic number got to be ten. Is ten got to be right? It's in high school basketball, if you're down ten, you're in the game. You're in the game. <laughs> Especially with a whole half and two minutes to play. Under two minutes, let's see what the Red Hawks do to respond to this this early rush from the Cougars. Aiken gets it to Gonzalez. Gonzalez on Charles. Vanzi can't get the roll. Edwards gets the rebound. Take it away by Kavanaugh. Great defense right there on the Red Hawks. They're on the move. Brings it back out. Smart move right there by Salamanca. In the corner to Charles. Stop and pop. And they're going to get Elijah with the over the back. It's going to be two shots as Medgar is now in the bonus. And the Red Hawks, Red Hawks have got to stop putting the Lady Cougars on the foul line. You know, that's 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 only going to help them increase their lead. That's what free throw line, what free throw line does. Definitely. Aiken on the year, second leading three point shooter on the team, averaging 11 points, four rebounds, and three assists. Yeah, she's a she's a knockdown shooter for her team. And, and like you said, hasn't seen a shot she doesn't like today. Love a player with confidence. Splits up here. Boom! As Elijah shows off the ring. What a shot by Elijah. She barely even had her feet set when she caught it, but squared up real immediately. Placed one from the Good corner. defense right there by Dominique Charles. She is active in the paint. Yeah. She doesn't play around. She's ball denial. She's working before the ball even gets there. Gonzalez with the offensive board. Rims in and out. Red Hawk. Outlet pass. Can't finish. And one. Wow. And Elijah there to clean up the mess. Wait, Eliza never gave up on the play. Ran the floor like the big man should. Perfect position for the putback. It's going to be an and one opportunity. Red Hawks down eight. And Coach Jason being very smart with his star guard, Portugal, and not wanting her to pick up any more fouls closing out this quarter. Right. That's good coaching right there. You know, you don't want to put your best player in any jeopardizing the situations. So Balagan and Kavanaugh in for the Red Hawks. 45 ticks left in the quarter. Almost got away with a hook as Miller nice through the defense gets the finish. Oh my goodness. The way she just split that defense. Went coast to coast and finished it with splitting the defense back to her right hand for the finish. And she picks up a, a what is honestly good not finish. a good foul with 27 seconds left. Not a good foul. She got a little too aggressive with Salamanca. And I believe they're going to be in the bonus. Yeah. She just put a stop to that run. So, you know, you kind of want to be careful. I shouldn't say put a stop to that run. She silenced, you know, the crowd for a quick second, but given the Red Hawks life again. 
Definitely. Salamanca. Connects on two at the line. Important, important free throws. Those add up and help you when you're on your run, on your way back in the That's, game. Definitely. Let's see if Mega holds for the last shot here. Stay the same way. Red Hawks intensity definitely has picked up in this last patch of time at the end of this half. You know what they did, Shaq? They got the lead under 10. Yeah. Yep. And they've shown they have shooters. Clearly. <laughs> Good hands right there by Jordan Elijah. Mega ever struggling to inbound right now. Aiken. Balagan with the rebound. Ten seconds left in the first half. And after one half of play, the Lady Cougars of Mega Evers are up on the Red Hawks of Construction, 31 to 23. For my partner, Shaq Mitchell, this is the voice of Sage Media, Greg Polius. We are gonna see you in the second half.
welcome back to LIU for the PSAL 2A Women's Championship second half action. We come back with the voice of Eagle, Greg Pilt, the voice of Sage Media, Greg Poley's my apologies. So used to calling Eagle game. And my partner Shaq Mitchell. Yeah. Forgive me, Shaq. No worries, man. It's all good. Um Man, can the Red Hawks come back? That's really the question of the second half, you know. Can they put it together? You know, the stars for Mega Evers have have come through. Michaela Sanders knocked down a couple threes that first half. Shakira Miller was just in rare form or normal form according to her stats. But, you know, Mega Evers is basically firing on all cylinders. You need Red, Haw Red Hawks that forgot to respond. Another block by Charles as Portia could get to the front court. She can't hit. Rebound Miller. Yeah, she tried to go to her left hand. I feel like she should have just stayed on that right side. Yeah, I think I think it would have been a lot easier. She probably could have drawn some Yeah, she made her well. job a little bit diff more difficult right there. Sanders for three. Outlet pass to Elijah. She hits the easy bucket. Did you see Edwards on that three? She didn't even set her feet. And, was, and she still almost hit it. Right, exactly. Really, real shooters on this Mega Evans College. I see, I see Elijah still favoring that hand. She hurt that earlier, but didn't stop her on the layup. I think Elijah needs to let her, you know, Portugal know she's trailing right there. Yeah. Trailer, trailer, trailer. That's what she can tell. She's having some trouble with that, uh, that left hand. I also say this uh, about the foul call. If Gonzalez beat Portugal to the spot, goes straight up, she doesn't get the foul call. Absolutely. And the fact that she ran and jumped with her is why she got the foul call. Portugal is very hard to stay in front of. That is also true. Can't hit the first. That's the third missed free throw for Portugal. Almost a great save. Gets her old rebound right there. As Miller showing off the, the court to court, the end. Man. One end to other end speed. <laughs> See a blur in the open court. Right there, she's fouled. She was looking to set up somebody underneath the basket right there. Aiken to inbound. In the corner. Salamanca, two on one. Kavanaugh brings it back out as, and almost throws it away. Good job by Salamanca with the save. Great hustle by the Salamanca. Down low to Dominique Charles. Good move. That was a great move right there. Yeah, it was up and under from Dominique Charles. She just couldn't make that one. Portugal has to be careful not to get called for a foul right there. And they're going to call it on Salamanca, hopefully. Because Portugal oh, it's going to be out of bounds. Just out of bounds. No foul. I think Coach Heath wanted Miller to give that up right there, not dribble herself into a trap in the corner. Great hands right there by Charles. Even better hands by Edwards to get it back for Medgar Evers. Aiken up and under. Can't finish. Charles getting the rebound. Crosses over. Gets out in front court to Portugal. Oh, that's, that's a good a no call right there. That is a bad field goal attempt for Portugal. She had no numbers. She kind of just forced one up. Not what you're trying to do if you're coming back in the game. The, the Red Hawks have to realize they're not out of this game. No, not by at a long all. Shot. It's a six point game. Aiken. What a block from Eliza. I, I'm telling you. The, the bigs on, on the Red Hawks are making it very difficult for the Lady Cougars to score in the paint. Elijah to Kavanaugh. Good draw. Oh, I thought there were steps there. Definitely was contact as well. So I thought uh, Elijah got away with travel right there. Got to get catch the ball, gather yourself. 
skip pass in the corner to Edwards. Boom! Michaela Sanders. When Thank they need a three, a timely three. Hawks, Red Hawks coming back into the game. Sanders knocks one in. I don't know why I said Edwards. <laughs> My apologies, Michaela. And that's Jasmine, no, Amina McCullen that's checking in for Khalees Williams right there. That, I believe that was Khalees Williams' fourth foul. That's big. Yes, very big, you know, it's a 16 and 10 on the season. Averaging a double-double. Definitely going to miss our play. Another yes. thing, free throw shooting is, is going to be hit. very important for these Red Hawks. Oh, listen, it's the catalyst for any team that's trying to win a championship. Do you notice the better free throw shooting team normally comes out on top? Yeah. It's a whole bunch of extra points awarded to you for, for, for working hard, and you've got to capitalize when you get there. Jump ball, great defense by Dominique Charles. Basketball is going to stay here with Matt, with uh, Matt Gravish. Nah, well, position now is wrong. Was wrong. McCullen right in Portugal's hip. Kavanaugh back to Portugal. Salamanca thought about it. Down low to Charles. Spins. That was a good ball movement right there by the Red Hawks. Definitely. Everybody kind of got a touch on that possession. Good ball movement. See if Charles can knock down a couple free throws. There's those pesky free throws. Costly, costly. These, these free throws come back when you, you know, come up short on a game by about three to four points. And you check that stat sheet and it's eight, nine missed free throws. I'll say this. It's a nine-point game right now. It wouldn't surprise me if construction missed eight to nine free throws. Right. Very different they game. just missed four just now. Exactly. Very completely, completely different game. Ball went off of... Salamanca's foot. So it's going to stay with Meg Evers. Miller guarded by Kavanaugh. Gets taken in the corner. Portugal goes over the way to lose ball in the front court to Elijah. Another trip for the Red Hawks to the foul line. Elijah. Let's see if they can capitalize here. Somebody's fourth foul. Let's see who that is. Did you hear the announcer? Who's that foul on? Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Elijah gets the shooter's touch. Yeah, Gonzalez is going to have a seat. Khalees Williams for back in. Subbed in for another player who has four fouls, so it should be interesting. That, that goes to speak to the depth. Or lack thereof. Miller kind of dribbling. Miller got bailed out right there. Yeah, they are. The, uh, the Red Hawks are definitely smothering Miller in this half. They Before, they were kind of letting her get where she wants, and she's been having trouble on a couple of possessions trying to get that penetration she once got. Definitely. She also has to be careful of dribbling to the double team. We know she has the handle to navigate around them, yeah. but you also don't want to put yourself in those situations. 
Good inbound play right there. Williams gets the finish. Great high catch from Khaleesi, keeping it high. Scores on the inside. Miller comes up with the loose ball. Can't finish. Aki gets swatted away by Elijah. Elijah saying, not in this paint, not in this house. Big swat on Miller. Kind of want her to do the Matumbo finger. Right. <laughs> she has the arm legs back, for it. Portugal with the rebound. With the Euro. She's going to the line to shoot two. And that's going to be the fifth foul for the Lady Cougars this quarter. Portugal. Always looking to run in transition. Right there, gets the ball and doesn't stop till she gets to the foul line. <laughs> so they've been hovering around between this 8 to 10 point deficit. But they have to hit their free throws. This could have been a 3, 4 point game. Absolutely. Going into the fourth quarter, which changes the entire dynamic. Absolutely. It shows when you only make one free throw out the line or when you're not hitting. Need all your free throws if you want to get all the way back into this game. Kavanaugh guarded Miller. Got her on the reach. It was a foul. Ticky tack, but it was a foul. Yeah, a little ticky tack, but you know the refs have to have some type of control over this game. I agree. <laughs> Fans aren't happy about that last call. Should have been here for the last game. Right. <laughs> Aiken from deep. Almost banks at home. Kavanaugh with the rebound. Salamanca looking up. Portugal drives in the paint. Runner off the glass and hits. That ball fake was insane. That's what set her free to get into the paint. Ball fake. Two steps into the lane and kisses it off the glass. Six Layla game. Portugal is balling. Right now for the Red Hawks. Edwards misses top blast. And Aiken's going to get the foul call. Loose ball foul. When you go that's going to be work, free throws. Greg, when you go and do the work, you are rewarded. That's a Red Hawks have upped, upped their intensity. They're corralling the loose balls. Remember how many offensive rebounds Megar Evans was getting in the first half. I'm seeing one and done shot attempts. Red Hawks are getting in transition, and that lead is trimmed. So, even though the Lady Cougars have a six-point lead, the momentum is not on their side right now. No. How do they regain it? Well, it's hard to regain it because, you know, they put the team, they put the Cougars on the, I mean, the Red Hawks on the line so many times. So now they're very close to, to being in a bonus. And you just gotta wonder why you have to do you do you play as aggressive as you want to, or do you have to wait to the fourth quarter because they have players that are are in foul trouble right now. Another two missed free throws by the Red Hawks. Miller pushing the pace. And they can call for step. Great call by Red Hawks. Also Miller could have gotten called for the the, the yeah, palm the palm violation, yep. But that's I noticed that doesn't really get called too often. Definitely a travel, though. Salamanca, she's looking to get it over the court to this press, to this press. What a bucket from Charles. What a bucket from Charles. The senior will not be denied. Back to a four-point game. Good screen right there by Sanders. Set it to it, Miller. Doesn't matter. She drives. Can't hit. She's gonna stay the same way as Sanders was out. Ah, I'm and, sorry. And I think Miller needs Elijah. to use the attention that she's drawing from the Red Hawks defense and try to get some of her other teammates involved. Agreed. Like Elise Williams and Michaela Sanders, because they're showing a double team early. There's another turnover for the mega average Lady Cougars. Right into the hands of the Red Hawks.
Good rebound right there from Williams. Yeah. He's getting chippy down there. And I like to see that from the Lady Cougars. It's like, listen, we had a lead. Let's regroup. Let's take a deep breath and Definitely. get back to our winning ways. I believe they were up by as many as 12. Absolutely. Got to be frustrated if you've given up an eight, eight to almost 10 points. Event. Timeout. A timeout from the coach. And he's telling, and right there, he's telling Amina McCullen, you can't, you can't be in the corners on that zone right there. They're looking to trap you. They're looking to stop you. Ref coach was able to get that timeout in there to stop a potential turnover. Great timeout. 54 seconds left to go in the third quarter. And we're going to come back with the Lady Cougars with the ball, trying to increase their lead with 17 seconds on the shot clock. The Red Hawks have fought their way back into this game. They've done what it takes to win the, the, the little things, the, the hustle plays. And now it's only a two possession lead right now. I would continue, if I'm, if I'm the Red Hawks, I would continue playing through Layla Portugal. She's been the catalyst. She's, her energy and approach is the, is, is the approach everyone needs to take if they're going to come back in this game and, and complete the, the comeback. Absolutely. Also, I would look to get the ball to Charles inside and exploit the foul trouble that the Lady Cougars are in. Absolutely. If I'm, if I'm Red Hawks, I'm sending Charles right at Khalees Williams. She's got four fouls, and she's so important to Matt Gravis. Also, if I'm the Lady Cougars, I don't settle for threes. What a steal from Jordan Eliza. Portugal controlling the ball. Gets to the Kavanaugh. Back to Portugal at the top of the key. Salamanca directed, trying to get somebody in the high post. Charles out on the wing. Salamanca drives out to Kavanaugh. Rips in and out. Williams with the rebound. Crowd begging the Hawks, Red Hawks to take a shot. Williams drives. Good oh. pass to Aiken. Beautiful look. And one. And the foul. Great look from Miller to Aiken. And that's what I meant from Takara Miller, right, Greg? Using the attention you're drawing from the defense to make opportunities for others. Right there, splits the double team. The defense was in disarray. They're panicking. Their best player has gotten free in the paint. Defense helps. She finds the open man. Maya Aiken completing that three-point play for Mega Evers. Almost a steal right there. Good defense right there. Hey. That was great defense right there. Absolutely. Gabriela Martinez in Martinez looking for Kavanaugh. I like this substitution. Martinez has got two triples. Crowd has been wanting some threes to go up, and Martinez definitely the, the person for it. She's your girl. Definitely think there was contact on Portugal's yeah, drive. I think, I think there was contact. And the construction crowd <laughs> not happy with the no call. 3.8, more than enough time to get a shot off. Completely. At the buzzer, Aiken. Wow. Connects on a 15-footer. And at the end of three, it is 41 to 32. Mega Evers over high school for construction. And Huge that right run. there is what you call a momentum killer. Huge run from the Lady Cougars at the end of that quarter. It looked like the Red Hawks were going to position themselves and make this a two-possession, maybe one-possession game in a quick 
quick flurry from Maya Aiken of the Lady Cougars to, 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 to keep the Red Hawks at bay, you know? What play by Maya Aiken, though? I also think the Red Hawks didn't think they were going to get a shot off. They figured it was under four seconds. But once he got the ball, somebody needs to face up. Absolutely. And that's why Coach tells you play to the zeros on the clock because you never know what can happen. You never know who can hoist up a shot, and they're back up nine. Eight minutes to go before we crown a ladies PSL 2A champion. Will the Cougars be able to hold the lead here for eight more minutes, or will the Red Hawks smell upset and walk away with the crown? Man, What's your I take think the Red second? Hawks, they've got to get their three-point shooters involved, and they've also got to limit these runs that Lady Cougars have been able to go on and, and keep them at bay. They've cut the lead to th two points, three points, four points, and then a flurry comes from Meg Gavis of about four to five points just to keep them away. And they've got to really lock in and stifle, you know, Miller, Sanders, and Aiken, who all played great for the Lady Cougars. Since eight more minutes of basketball, we crown another champion. Good contest right there by Aiken, but gets it back to Portugal. So Elijah drives. Good move, good take right there. If, if the Red Hawks are going to come back, they need to get the ball in their leading scorer's hands, Jordan Elijah. Absolutely. Jordan Elijah right there slicing and cutting through the defense, using her length and height. Nobody's meeting her at the rim. Nice finish. What a pass. Great outlet pass. And uh, Elijah. I don't think she knew where she right. was That's underneath what I was the just rim. Say. She's not caught under the rim. That pass kind of took her momentum underneath the rim. She wasn't able to gather her steps like she wanted to. It was a good outlet pass, but I think her adrenaline was rushing. Big mistake right there. Rebound Portugal. She corrals it. Gets to Salamanca. Portugal gets to Kavanaugh. And the high post to Charles. Well, not the high post anymore. Now, back to Charles in the high post. That did Gonzalez foul. just foul out. I think, I think the ref got the. Uh, I think that's her fourth. Nope, oh, that's the fifth. You're right. She did. Jalen Gonzalez. That and that the quarter just started. That's big. Very big. You know now Khalees Williams has to be on the floor. And Khalees also has four fouls. Absolutely. Valiant effort by the junior Jalen Gonzalez. We just spoke it into existence. You said Charles would do that. Loose ball corralled into the corner by for Charles. She drives and one. Count the bucket. Early in the game, it was the Lady Cougars not allowing any defensive rebounds, gathering up all their offensive rebounds and second chance opportunities. But that possession right there is the Red Hawks. Great way to and stick with it, reset, get that ball over to Charles, and she's in the, at the foul line for an end one opportunity. And that is where the loss of Jayla Gonzalez is going to be huge. Absolutely. Because the they're not allowed to foul. Khalees Williams can only play but so aggressive. And the Red Hawks just need to take advantage. The, the Red Hawks free throw woes continue. Miller gets in the corner. Aiken with the offensive rebound. Back to Aiken for three. Off the back iron. Portugal gets the rebound. Outlet. 
to Salamanca. Gets it up top to Portugal. Charles. And that's gonna it's gonna be a, a palming violation. I thought she was gonna go for the hop step. Yeah, and then she, she put it like, back oh, on the ground. I'll dribble this again. <laughs> That was a move where you see it in the WNBA, but they tell you don't try it at set home. <laughs> <laughs> Kavanaugh guarded Miller. Aiken to the corner. Edwards misses. Great closeout from Elijah. Portugal gets on it, gets a loose ball to Elijah in the open court. She hits the bucket, and it is a three point game. Time out, Red Hawks. Jordan Elijah, way to make up for the, the miss lamp on the break a couple of plays ago. Ready, ready, and, and, and able to, for that pass and that drop off pass. Knocking it in. Red Hawks trail by three. And, you know, if you're watching this game right now, it feels like, you know, the Red Hawks have new life, you know? Red Hawks right now talking it over in that timeout. They're one possession game. Cougars have got to corral Jordan Elijah. She has played so big for them. She's actually struggling through a hand injury. I saw her favor in her hand earlier, but man, the Hawks have Red Hawks have fought right back into this game, and we got a little over five and a half to decide. Who's going to be our new two-way champions in the girls' division, at least? As the teams are both ready to come out, seems like the coaches are letting them out right about now. Great play from Layla Portugal. She's just been so scrappy. First to lose balls, coming out of the pack with the ball. She's been the leader. Her and Jordan Elizabeth have been the leaders of this comeback right here. Shaq, the momentum has shifted. <laughs> Look at how excited you are. You're out of breath. <laughs> In the corner to Aiken. Dribbles back to the wing. Dangerous pass right there. Coach Heath telling her exactly that. Cannot pass it back in the corner. No. Especially when your defender's right there. Absolutely. The defender was sitting there waiting in the passing lane for that. The Red Hawks have got to be careful to not undo their hard work. They've been doing that a lot this game, and they've got to make sure that their work sticks this time and get a stop right here. I, I would like to see Miller take it to the rack right here off the dribble. Oh, uh -huh, there like we go. It. And it's blocked. Good rebound right there from Elijah. Portugal pushing the pace, gets it to the front court. No shot, fouls on the floor. Huge possession right here for the Red Hawks. Charles at the high post, and she connects. Dominique Charles has played so big for the Red Hawks. She's gotten the bigs in foul trouble for the Lady Cougars, and she has just absolutely been an offensive onslaught for the Red Hawks. One point game, Greg. Almost a steal right there for Portugal. Down low, great five as Amina McCullen finishes the bucket. S timely bucket right there from McCullen. Lady Cougars are on the ropes, Probably hanging on to their lead by thread. This season for her. That might have been the first shot attempt from Salamanca. That might have been the first side attempt that's off from Sal Salamanca. She's been all passing, all defense. You know a coach is not happy when he meets you at half yeah, court. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he's on, on the court, <laughs> he belongs on the sidelines. So <laughs> if he's out on the court... He has had enough. As Mega Evers holding on to that lead. One possession game. 
Cheerleaders are getting into it. They recognize the atmosphere of this game. Crowds are starting to get on their feet. And if, when you look at both teams' road to the championship, they were blowing everybody out. Med Gavers beat Brooklyn College Academy 82 to 17, beat Uncommon 62 to 40. And I'm sorry, their first win was against Scholars Academy 76 to 34. On the flip side, Construction beat South Bronx 64 to 41, August Martin 71 to 46, and Mott Haven, the closest one, 46 to 40. Right. So if we're being objective about this, the Red Hawks have more experience in a closer game than the Lady Cougars. Is that something that may loom large here closing out the game? Absolutely. You know, experience is the best teacher. You know, when you haven't experienced the same pressures, then you can only know what it's like once you go through it. And if you're better prepped and you've been in situations like these, you're more prepped for them. So we'll see what the Lady Cougars do and how they respond. And it looks like the Red, Red Hawks have accepted the challenge. Aiken on the wing, guarded by Portugal. Dangerous pass gets stolen by Elijah. Salamanca almost loses it. Elijah drives and finishes too easy from the freshman. Jordan Elijah finishing with both hands today. That side on the left-hand side. Elijah, big, big, big bucket for the Red Hawks. One-point game. Aiken on the wing, guarded by Portugal. Gets it back to Miller. Miller drives past Kavanaugh. Underneath the basket. Big rebound by McCullough. She can't finish. Charles comes down with the ball. Coach Heath trying to get his team to trap. Time out, Coach. Man, that was about Jason to be a turnover. That was about to be a turnover. So great timeout from uh, the Red Hawks, Coach. To those 175 plus out there watching, we appreciate you tuning in to this PSL 2A matchup live stream by Sage Media Solutions for any live stream broadcast or inquiries, please reach out to add Sage, Sage Media Solutions on all social media platforms. And the construction crowd going wild because they know they are in this game. They know they're in this game and they can feel it. You can feel the momentum. It's like a pendulum. Absolutely. You know? Definitely, definitely have new life right now. I'll say this, right? The fact that it's only a one-point game and the Cougars are up the, with the crowd noise, it doesn't feel like the Lady Cougars are leading in this game. Right, exactly. Despite all the missed free throws, despite all the mental lapses uh, for the Red Hawks, they found themselves down one with a little under three and a half to play. I mean, you got to like your odds, right? Three and a half is a very long time. Absolutely. And going to come back to this again. The loss of Jayla Gonzalez fouling out. The unforced turnover is huge right there. The Medgar Biggs have to step up in her absence. Absolutely. Salamanca, little, little uh, miscommunication between Salamanca and uh, Eliza right there. But, yeah, they're definitely going to have to respond now that Gonzalez is on the bench. And Khalees Williams is, you know, her, her time for playing soft is, is, is running out. So the Red Hawks need to respond. And talk to Coach Jason of construction prior to the game. One thing he told me, you know, I ask a lot of coaches when it's into borough games, how they feel about going against teams from Brooklyn. Right. And he said, you know, this is not just for construction. This is for Queens. Everybody in the city understands almost all championships run through Brooklyn. Absolutely. So for them, this is more than just the game. Right. This is putting on for their borough. Absolutely. And you know, any chance you get, you should you should treat it as, as such. Brooklyn, Brooklyn being top dogs as, as, as Sanders not misses the first. Brooklyn being top dogs, you know, you kind of want to put on for your borough, especially if you're not already in Brooklyn. You want to kind of show out and know these matchups always prove to end up just like this. And she misses two wow. big free throws. 
Use two free oh, throws. good hands by McCullough. Timeout. Coach Heath got the timeout, but I don't think it was it was it was granted. They're gonna award the timeout. She had possession of the ball. Absolutely. And wow. he's not gonna be granted a timeout. It's gonna be ruled a jump ball, and it's go to, gonna be Red Hawk's ball. Glad the refs were able to clear that up. Huge play though for the Red Hawks after that miss, those two missed free throws. As our Brooklyn Queens talk, Shaq, I gotta ask you. You're originally from Queens, correct? Yeah, Big Queens. Absolutely. But you graduated from school in Brooklyn. Absolutely. So where do your allegiance stand? <laughs> gotta ask you, Shaq. <laughs> well, I have a high respect for the Brooklyn, but you know, my hometown is Queens, so I wouldn't be okay. a, I wouldn't mind uh, the Red Hawks being successful. But I don't I'm I'm here I've seen both these teams compete and I wouldn't mind each one of these teams. Coming out victorious. They played hard. the future in politics, Shaq. <laughs> Police Williams doing a great job cutting up that pass, but unfortunately <laughs> steps out of bounds. Yeah, so Lamanca has got to be careful. Two almost turnovers in these last two possessions. Let me adjust my seat <laughs> so I can sit at the end. Yes. <laughs> because... These two minutes and 51 seconds is going to take a little longer than that. Look for a big shot from Layla Portugal. I'm calling it now. McCullough with another huge defensive play, but can't quite corral it. And the Medgar intensity on defense has heightened here in these closing minutes of this I game. Mean, I mean, it has to. That's just that time of the game, right, Greg? This is where, where you find that last extra, you know, tank of, tank of gas that you had. You've been playing all season, but this one... This one's for all the marbles. As might have been a little shoving off the ball. Inbound to Elijah, though. We haven't seen this all day. Elijah bring the ball up to Charles in a high post. She loses it. Gets to the floor. Gets it out in the corner. Portugal for three. Boom! Huge shot from the junior. Layla Le Portugal. Layla Portugal in the in the toughest of moments, giving her team the lead. Red Hawks lead 45-43. And Portugal gets the rebound. Outlet to Dominique Charles in the front court. And she finishes. And Red the construction crowd is going bananas. This is absolute mayhem. The crowd is into it. Red Hawks lead by four. What a play. Medgar needs to get the ball. Back into the hands of their playmaker, Takira Miller. Listen, Red Hawks came in with, ex, with, with, with top players, but the X factor today is, is Dominique Charles. Big shot from Layla Portugal, but the player of the, the player of the day for, for the Red Hawks has been Dominique Charles. He's been the biggest player to come for this comeback for she, the Red Hawks. She has been the X factor. Absolutely. Inside and outside the paint. Defensively wise, she's been a, a problem offensive wise. Right there finishing on the break to Put the Red Hawks up by four with a little over two minutes left remaining. I believe she just did she did she just fell out. I didn't hear the buzzer. It's possible. Okay. It's just something to watch. I think she did. That's huge with two minutes left. If she did foul out. Police Williams with the offensive rebound. Timeout. Yeah. Medgar Evers is reeling right now. They have to lock in. There's only two minutes left in this game. A lot of time still. Great timeout by Coach Heath there trying to rally his troops. Absolutely. Play a little more controlled on offense. They definitely needed that. You can see mentally that they were they were kind of rattled, rattled by those, those last couple of shots going in. To the almost 200 people watching out there, thank you for tuning in to Sage Media Solutions on the live stream broadcast. For all your inquiries on sports live stream feel free to reach out to at sage media solutions on all social media platforms there's two minutes left and in two minutes we will have a 2a psal girls champion so much at stake you have number one versus number two yep number two red hawks currently with a four point lead trying to upset the big bad team from Brooklyn. Absolutely. Can they do Jack, it? you've already aligned yourself with Queen, <laughs> even though you tried to politically dance around it. How does Medgar 
keep Brooklyn on top. Right now they got to put the ball into Kyra Miller's hands. This has been your leader all year. You have to trust her to get you to the promised land. Michaela Sanders and Maya Aiken have also played good, so, you know, don't be surprised if they hit a big shot in this last two minutes, but I feel like this ball should be in your leader's hands. So Kyra Miller averaging 21 and seven on the season. She's a senior. She's probably been a part of some of these situations already, so I just think that's the safest thing if you're the Lady Cougars. Absolutely. Okay, here we go, folks. Two minutes to go. This is going to be the longest two minutes of some of these, not, not the players, some of these parents' lives. <laughs> right, absolutely. Miller guarded by Kavanaugh. Rouse behind Red Hawks. We had a defensive chance. Red Hawks back in the 2-3 zone. And Khalees Williams gets the offensive rebound on a missed shot by Big Miller. Big bucket from Khalees Williams. Two-point she, game. She's not been able to impact this game as he wants to, but big bucket right there. Portugal in the front court. Two. Man. Miller has to take a charge right there. Man, Greg, if that layup would have dropped, this building would have went in I, flames. I'm pretty sure the stands would have erupted <laughs> if that went down. Now, free throw shooting has been a bugaboo yeah. for the Red Hawks all game. No question. These are two huge free throws. And now the crowd's involved game. with her mental focus. We'll see how she responds. And she sinks the first. Big free throw. Still a one possession game. Absolutely. This is the bigger free throw right here, though. Ah. Can't connect on the first. And Medgar needs to know they don't need a three right here. Absolutely not. You can still play a game, get a look Kavanaugh. to get a good shot as they draw that foul right there on Widner Kavana. I do think Miller. I do think Miller needs to go to the basket, but something important to note. Both teams are one foul away from the bonus. Wow. Yes, they gotta be careful right now. Miller guarded by Kavanaugh. Big shot. Aiken rattles home a three. Michaela Sanders. Michaela Sanders drilling her. Time out. Red Hawks. Even the fans for the next game we're going to call are loving this. Huge three from Maya Aiken. Maya Aiken, I apologize. I said Michaela Sanders. Maya Aiken right there. Being ready for the moment. Not only being ready to shoot, but being ready for the moment. Tying the game up for the Lady Cougars. Coach wants Tom. So how, and then and out. That's not necessarily a dagger just yet. Right. Because it's still a tie game. No, no. How does Coach Jason and the Red, how do J Coach Jason and the Red Hawks respond? Keep continue to play your game. Your game has got you the lead already. Continue to involve Layla Portugal. Continue to involve Jordan Elijah. You get what I'm saying? And Do Dominic, you don't have Dominic Charles, obviously, because he's just fouled out, but you continue that same energy. So Salamanca's done a good job of keeping, you know, the offense steady, get making sure everybody gets a good shot. You, you do what works. So we one thing we've noted is Jordan Elijah's versatility. I think you use her the same way you use Dominique Charles, right. flash her to the high post, and allow that athleticism and versatility to take over. I think so, too. She's a very versatile player. She's a young player, but the type of athlete she is, she impacts the game differently. It's Red Hawks ball, so you know Maddie's going to come out at full court pressure. 48. And looking for a turnover. Oh. Woo. Right, these girls won a championship.
We are 62 seconds away, barring overtime, of course, from counting a 2A champion. Uh, table issues, but I think we're good to go now as Medica comes down on a 1-3-1 press. Martinez is checked back in as key for the Red Hawks. Almost a steal by McCullough. Gets it to Kavanaugh, who almost loses it. Back to Salamanca. And Salamanca is fouled, and she's going to go to the line shooting, too. Ah, Maya definitely wishes she could do that again. Bad foul on Salamanca. Lady Cougars are going to be praying for misses. These are now the two biggest free throws in the game. <laughs> right? Until 10 seconds later, right? <laughs> ah. And even if she hit both, right, game's still not over. Yep, one possession game, no matter where you slice it. Looks a pair. Construction up one. Time out. Medgar. So, if we remember, do they advance it at the, uh, at the half after the timeout? I believe so. They're going to so last two minutes, I believe. That's huge because now you don't have to go the length of the court. So, what play can hold Coach Heath draw up here? to get an easy two because it still puts you up one. And then you have to have faith in your defense not to foul. Absolutely. If you're the Red Hawks, if you're in the Red Hawks timeout, you're telling your team one stop. You know? You're telling your team one stop right now and you can cap off the, 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 the game, the rocky game that you've had that you worked back into your favor. Do not foul. Do not foul. You know, you don't want to put somebody on the line easy. You want to get a stop, and you want to secure those rebounds. They had trouble early in this game not securing rebounds. You do not want to have an episode of that with this game. 49 seconds remaining. As the team is about to, the teams are being let out right now. After the game, please stay tuned for the awards ceremony. We will sign off. But the cameras will be rolling as the girls receive their flowers. Not literal flowers, of course. <laughs> okay, Aiken to inbound. He's got Aiken to inbound, hoping she can get open off the... Miller guarded by Kavanaugh. Aiken for three. Gets her own rebound. And loses it. And Portugal. And Smartly who else, pulls the timeout. And who else other than Layla Portugal? She has literally been all over this court today. Who else than Layla Portugal coming up with the steal and a timeout to get Aiden a Red Hawks possession? Aiden had a great look, and she got her own rebound, but she couldn't quite corral it to Absolutely. go back up with it. Yep. They wouldn't allow her to get the, the ball right back over her head and come up with the steal without fouling. Excellent defensive play from the construction Red Hawks. And Shaq, there's three seniors combined on both these rosters. These teams <laughs> will be back. Absolutely. These players are young, but they're very talented and they're ready poised. See such great play out of both teams. No team is ready to give up yet, though. As the Red Hawks should be inbounding right now. Police Williams on the inbound. And remember, she be has careful. four fouls. Getting this ball over half court. This game is far from over. One possession lead. Get it to Elijah. She picks up her dribble. Gets it to Portugal. I That's going to be a foul.
So everybody in the gym is standing, including us. <laughs> And just keep in mind, if Portugal, Portugal hits the MVP two free throws, it's still a one possession game. Can't hit the first. They're going to have to hit free throws. You do not want to leave the door open. I think Coach Heath is saying if she misses or makes the, f the free throw, and if, he, if she makes it, I'm sorry, he wants a timeout. I don't know if he has any timeouts left. Edgar ever coaches I rate right now. Um, producer friend, one day we're gonna get it set up where we we could ha have action and listen into what's happening at the scorers table. I don't know what tech you need, but one day. Apparently, they're talking about somebody who may or may not have fouled out. As a crowd chance, she's got five. <laughs> I couldn't see before we stood up. Because the only person that was really in foul trouble is Khalees Williams. And who was the foul on for Layla Portrait? Yep, there it is. And Khalees Williams has fouled out. I you guess that's why the Meg Evans coach is fighting so hard to keep Khalees in the game. But, yeah, they called that foul on Khalees. And Michaela Venzi comes in for Khalees Williams. So, just to keep you guys abreast, Layla Portugal missed her first free throw. She has one more. Checked with the table. Khalees Williams has fouled out. The standout sophomore who averaged a double double this year at 16 and 10 is gone. And now the other sophomore, Michaela Vanzi, is in in her place. And Coach Jason of construction is arguing something that they're trying to figure out. Both teams huddling up and talking it over with each other as the table tries to figure it out. So I I, that's the best I could do right now. <laughs> Coach is just trying to plead with these referees right now. And again, 36 seconds, if we're being realistic in this context, is a lifetime no. for a one-possession game. Absolutely. It's, it's kind of like, and I'm praying a situation like this doesn't take the players out of their rhythm. Absolutely. Things like that. So, it, it looks like standing room only in the fan <laughs> section of the bleachers. Absolutely. Not the DJ bringing us to church. <laughs> little church while we wait. You know, it's beautiful. <laughs> a little, little worship while you wait. Right, right. Make sure you stay tuned for our next game, Brooklyn College Academy versus Giorgio Lubron High School for Science and Math in the Boys 1A Championship. And if you think you're done with us after that, you're not. Right. Because we're still going to be here for the 4 o'clock game for South Bronx Prep versus Seawood Park at 6. Okay.
Okay, okay, DJ. <laughs> I mean, the crowd has completely forgot about the game. It's party time right now. <laughs> you got, got to do a little two-step in the pool, man. <laughs> it's definitely party time. That was, a, that was a fire transition. I'm impressed. As you start seeing the players coming back out, so maybe the refs have, and the coaches have sorted all of that out. Notice the foul count. Okay, Red Hawks is still at four fouls, so that's right. Lady Cougars are in the bonus. So again, Portugal only has one more free throw. She can't connect. Rebound McCullough. Aiken in the front court. Oh, she had Khaleesi wide open. She's going to stay the same way. She had Khaleesi yeah, Williams wide Khalees. open underneath the basket. Definitely missed Khaleesi Williams running down the middle of the floor. Huge missed opportunity right there. Benzie to inbound. What a and steal from Eliza. 20 seconds left. They're going to have to foul. Good timeout from Coach. That should advance the ball for the Red Hawks and get them a, a nice possession to get the ball in bounce and hopefully hit free throws. That, what a great defense. The reason that timeout me. was so good, because it advances the ball. Absolutely. And now they don't get pressure in the backboard. Absolutely. That press, Coach kind of saw, Coach could smell a timeout, a uh, 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 turnover coming. What, what, what a coaching effort on both sides. Absolutely. Both coaches done a great job coaching, making adjustments all game, working with, with, with what the game has given them. You know, both both coaches have had to go through a different set of problems, if we're being honest. You Definitely. Know? And with Coach Meg Evans College, you know, your, your best players have been in foul trouble. Your, your, your height, your rim protection has been in foul trouble all game. A couple players have fouled out. Red Hawks, you, 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 were, you were turning a lot of, having a lot of turnovers in that press early on. A lot of coaching that, that they were able to navigate and get their teams in the best possible chances to win. So hats off to the coaches. The key here for the Red Hawks, do not turn the ball over on the inbound. Absolutely. And knock down your free throw. Still will be a one possession game, but. Uh, they didn't advance quite past half court. Looks like they're running a line play on the side out. I have a feeling. They're going to try to, uh, good job by Meg Evans to keep players from going long. And there's the turnover. Aiken drives. And one! What a that play is right the there it. from Michaela Sanders. Picks up the loose ball, gathers herself. Gets fouled and hits the shot. You can't teach hard, Drake. Right place, right time. Ready for the moment. Goes back up, accepts contact. Gives her team the lead with a chance to go up by two. Red Hawks in disbelief. But once again, this game is still not over. We are 8.8 .8 seconds away. And that's, Winter Kavanaugh has just fouled out for construction. Replacing her is Gabriel Mar Gabriela Martinez. <laughs> Misses the free throw. Oh, and that's a huge foul right there as Portugal is going to go to the line and shoot two free throws. A wise man once told me a problem will keep showing up until you make it over that hump. The free throws have been a problem for Red Hawks all day. Layla Portugal with a chance to give her team the lead, possibly win the game at the foul line. No bigger free throws than these, right? <laughs> you are correct. It was 10 seconds later. <laughs> 
everybody here for this game is on their feet. And that's a violation. This is the tie the game right here with seven seconds left. Can Brooklyn hold it? Or is Queens gonna take the crown? Wow. Six seconds to play. Aiken almost loses it. And she does. She gets it back. We are going to overtime. Shaq. Even the school safety is shocked. Yes, it's crazy. It's only fitting that we have a couple more minutes to, to decide this. And it's going to be a two-minute break in between. <laughs> How fitting is this game to go to overtime? So I alluded to it earlier. <laughs> and... Here we are. Yeah, you jinx us, Greg. <laughs> it's possible, it's possible. I'll wear that, I'll take that. Brand new game though, that's what I think about with overtime, you know? You get a chance to reset. It's not the same as a new quarter. It's really like a hard reset. All right, everybody's back to zero in a way, you know? Yes and no, because to me, the momentum in the fourth quarter carries over into overtime. But sometimes it's a new, it's a whole new ball game in that overtime. So it's like yes and no, too. I get it. I guess I get what you're it, saying. It, it, it's a give and take. All I right. agree with that. We As we see the boys design. filing in for the next game after that. I don't know. Producer, can we talk to the, to the table and give us an extra 10 minutes in between games? <laughs> I'm going to lose my voice. I, I'm not going to be able to teach tomorrow. <laughs> And for the record, if you guys wanted to know, no, Shaq and I are not sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> We're not. This game is too intense. As always, this PSL 2A championship action is brought to you by Sage Media Solutions. If you want this intensity at your live stream events, feel free to reach out to add Sage Media Solutions on all social media platforms. DJ earned his money. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, Shaq, what are some of your keys to overtime for each team? The keys to overtime is taking care of the basketball for the Red Hawks, for sure. They... Had a lead established and two costly, costly turnovers. Got the Lady Cougars of Mega Evers back into this game. And they're going to have to take care of the ball even better than what they've done in this entire game in this one overtime in order for them to come out with a win. Uh, if you're Mega Evers, you don't want to let Layla Portugal outwork you. And right now, to me, she's been the hardest worker on the court today. You know, she's been, she's been big for her team. And then none other than Jordan Eliza. Jordan Eliza, she's a huge, huge threat going to that basket. The, the, the South Shore, I mean South Shore, I'm sorry. The Lady Cougars, Meg, Mega Evans, Lady Cougars have, you know, had a tough time with rim protection. Elise Williams? No, oh, that's Edward. Real quick, uh, just one of the keys for the Red Hawks for me is hitting their free throw. Absolutely. No, for sure. That's and that's for both teams, regardless. This is that stretch of time where every missed free throw counts. That's Khalees Williams back in the game. Guess she did it foul out. Portugal gets to El Shirari. Gonzalez in the corner. Martinez. Oh, Martinez in the corner. Martinez, her third triple of the game, and she's gotten real comfortable in here. El Shirari guarded Aiken. Aiken was huge in that fourth quarter comeback. And there's Khalees Williams showing up. 
Uh, they didn't. So it wasn't a three by Martinez. They said a foot was on the line. It's a two. Oh, wow. We're in a tie ball game. Cross court to Martinez. Back to Portugal at the top of the key. Salamanca looking for somebody. Gets it to Martinez. Good hands right there. Great job playing the passing lane by Felice Williams. As she's able to not finish the layup. Rebound. Back out to Williams. Man, huge missed opportunity right there for the Lady Cougars. The has got to finish that. McCullough drives baseline. Runs into her own teammate. Gets it out to Aiken. Good hands right there by Portugal. As she finishes the easy deuce. Very notable right now. What a steal right there from Layla Portugal. Takara Miller's not on the floor for Medgar Evers. I'm very surprised at that decision from Coach. Good move by McCullough, but she can't finish. Elijah with the rebound. Red Hawks lead by two. Portugal gets to the Martinez in the corner. Back to the top of the key to Salamanca. Down low. Great look inside to Elijah. She finishes. Testament to Salamanca upping her play. She had a couple costly turnovers in that fourth quarter. But she's taking accountability and accepted the challenge. Two great passes on the last possessions right there. Great finish right there from Elijah. That's Ferrari guarding Aiken. Looking for somewhere to go with the ball. And that's going to be a foul. No, no, no shot. It's going to be underneath the basket. That pot, that might be, might be Portugal's fifth. It's Great either her possible. fourth or her fifth. That's her fourth. Okay. She had a minute 40 to go. Portugal has to be very careful. And that's what the danger of a game going into overtime, right, Greg? Your foul, people that were already in foul trouble have to play longer to be available without fouling. <laughs> Aiken misses the first. Still not a soul standing in the sitting in this gym. It's too intense in here. This is for a championship. A right to say you're the best in the city in your, in your conference, in your league. Elijah misses the rebound as Aiken can't hit on either free throw. Gets the Elijah back to Portugal. Guarded by McCullough. Portugal finishes through contact. What a strong Put the team finish. on her back. Oh my goodness. What a strong finish from Portugal. Accepting contact, finishing through the trees. Six point lead for the Red Hawks. Aiken settling right there. And outlet to El Sharari. As she finishes the limp. And it is now an eight-point game with under a minute to go. And the Red Hawks have got it going. Game of runs. Overtime is the team to the first run. And they have put themselves in a great position to win this game. As Red, Red Hawk faithful are feeling victory ever so close. Absolutely. A minute to play. They're up eight right now, Greg. With 59 seconds to go. But again... We were just here not too long ago. Absolutely. This game is not over. <laughs> game is one minute. Lady Cougars just had a, you know, a rough patch right there. Weren't able to shut down. Weren't able to shut down the Red Hawks on those plays. So we still haven't seen Takara Miller on the floor for Medgar, and that's huge because she's been their best ball handler all game. She's been their go-to person to get a, a score when they needed it. And even on defense, you know, the guard, the, the top of the key defense is not the same when she's not in the game. Right, exactly. 
Asawari guarded Aiken. Gets to McCullough on the wing. Picks up a dribble, shoots a three. Good rebound by Williams, taking it away. Michaela That's Sanders. Michaela Sanders getting the finish. I'm surprised there was no pressure put on. Portugal, good look to Martinez. I'm surprised McEvers is not fouling right here, given the stru struggles Constructors had at the foul line. Yeah, they just let it Red Hawks kind of run a time off. Nah, and look, Coach had to go to half court to tell him to foul. So it wasn't that if they weren't instructed. I just don't think they heard it. Right. A lot of time came off the clock right there. A lot of time. Sound man is on it. MVP chance for Portugal. And the crowd has seen how hard she's worked today. Back at the foul line. She struggled here, though. In 20 seconds, you can hit. Two threes can be hit in 20 seconds as Layla comes up short again on a free throw. Aiken dribbles off her foot. It looks like it's a foul call. Not sure about that one. And that was on Portugal. And Portugal is done. I'm not going to lie, I did not see a foul. I didn't see a foul at all. The ref behind had a bad angle, though, so I think he believed there was contact. And <laughs> And Layla said on their team, like, it's all right. We got this game. Continue to play you guys' game. What a game, Greg. Absolutely. Aiken at the line, trying to cut the lead and cut the deficit. Misses the first. They're going to have to intensify this press. Absolutely. They're going to need a couple steals. Make or, make or miss. Right. They need to be on it. And Aiken misses. But McCullough gets the offensive rebound. Almost loses it. Because Meg has to put up a shot. And Vanzi gets the shot to go. Timeout, Red Hawks. Two possession game. Eight seconds left. So, real quick, we noticed Khalees Woods is back. Obviously, the table does not communicate with us. Right. But there's a chance that they may have gotten it wrong initially, and Takara Williams was the one who fouled right, out exactly. instead of Khalees Williams. Because she's not the one, she hasn't been the one to return. Exactly. Yeah. And so it's possible that is what happened and why we haven't seen Takara Williams in overtime and we saw Khalees Williams come back in. Takara Miller, my apologies. Yeah, that makes much more sense. Eight seconds left. Is Queens going to knock off Brooklyn? It's looking like it right now, Greg. You know, barring, you know, but... Eight seconds, still in a, a good amount of time. That press is in effect, so we'll see. I, I know this much. Both these teams need to be on each other's non-league schedules next year. Right, definitely. They're going to have to make something happen next year. This, this is how you start inter-borough rivalry right here. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, more, more conversation with the refs. Salamanca inbounds it to Gonzalez. That was a little late on that foul call. Yeah. Maya was trying to get the, the intentional foul. Ref, ref didn't, uh, 
Didn't give it to her immediately. Foul's going to be on Aiken. This is essentially to ice the game right here. Absolutely. Martinez sinks the first. Martinez coming up huge at the free that's throw line. That's going to do it, Greg. As Aiken banks home the deep three. But it does not matter because your number two Red Hawks from High School for Construction are now your PSAL Girls 2A champions knocking off the one seed in wow. Medgar Evers Lady Cougars. Wow. You know, if you're the lady, you know, the Red Hawks, they fought, they fought, they fought, and then they fought some more. You know, behind the play of Layla, Layla Portugal, Jordan Eli Eliza was big, huge for the Red Hawks. But my X Factor, my best player was, she fouled out early, but Dominique Charles. Huge, huge play and performance from Dominique Charles to really secure this win for the Red Hawks. She wasn't able to see it all the way through to the overtime, but the Red Hawks are successful because of those type of players. If you're the Lady Cougars, you know, you don't hang your head right now. You know what I'm saying? You had a lot of opportunities, and despite the missed free throws from the Red Hawks, you know, you can kind of, you can kind of, have something to, to cherish, you know, because they, they they were in this game until they weren't. All the way into this game until they weren't. So, hats off to both teams. They both competed. But Red Hawks are going to be our two-way champions. So, please remember, for those of you tuned in on Sage Media, on YouTube, watching live, we're going to keep the stream going so you can watch the ceremony. But for Shaq Mitchell and the voice of Sage Media, Greg Polius, we will see you for our next contest. The boys 1A championship between Brooklyn College Academy and the high school, George LeBron High School for Science and Math.